What's up, Good Old Gang? And today's video is basically about how we met. You know, everybody's been trying to figure out how we met in an accident. You're about to spill all the beans of how we met. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. So, you know, I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is at Lexi Mulatto 2 underscores. And mine is Gillis with the Golds. Gillis dot with the Golds. I always get it wrong. But make sure y'all follow us and make sure y'all um, like and subscribe. Okay, so we're going to start there. Um, do you want to go first? No, I go first. How about this? We're gonna do her side of the story and we're gonna do my side of the story. No, we're not gonna so, do that. Yes, we are. We just both. No. <laughs> no. No, don't get mad. So, mm, don't no. get mad. All right. So, <laughs> that, this was like how long? Like two, three years ago. Um, I used We follow each other on Instagram and stuff. So, you know, I used to see him on Instagram and stuff like that. I'd be like, oh, he's cute, you know. Da, da, da. And I mean, I don't want to ever say nothing because plus I was in a relationship at the time. He's like that, so you know I can't say too much. But I used to just, you know, like his pictures and stuff like that. And then you know, Tom came on. I won't in a relationship no more and stuff. But even before that, I used to see him at the gym. We used to go to the same gym, stuff like that. And I used to see him like, dang, that's that dude off the Instagram. Mm -hmm. so that, and he talking, told me, he told me he saw me too. Was just like, oh, she cute, but he was scared to come up to me. You know what I'm saying? I guess I intimidated him. I intimidated him. So he was scared to come up to me and stuff like that. But anywho, fast forward. So summertime came like two years ago and you know, uh, he hit me up. I was like, shout out, shout out. I was doing shout out. So I was just like, oh, let me hit him up. It's my time. That's what to do. So I hit him up and I was just like, hey, da da da. Got his number. He asked to FaceTime the same night. So we FaceTimed. Next day, he asked me out on a date to the movies, so he went to the movies and stuff. He was all shy and stuff like that, blushing and all that. And guess what he did? We watched the movie, he handed me his phone, let me put my um, fingerprint up there, gave me a password, all that. I was just like... On the first date, the reason why I was why I did that... First was date, y'all. The first date. Who you know that I did that? Well, I was like... Well, mm -hmm. listen, i never done that before. It's because I felt a connection with her while we was, you know, while we was watching the movie. We, was talk we weren't even watching the movie, just talking and stuff and, you know, just getting the vibe with each other. So when I felt that connection, I felt like that she was different. I just felt, I just, you just feel that vibe, you know what I'm saying? And that's when I just handed her my phone. She was like, what are you doing? I'm just like, you can put your fingerprint on my phone, you know what I'm saying? So you can, so you can learn how to trust me and start trying to. And starting to try to learn how to trust me at that time, so I did that, and that's how we started. Oh, you know, that's when she I wanted her to take me serious, that's why I really did it. So I didn't want to think I was one of these, you know, fast dudes, whatever, just trying to get it. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. But, yeah. but yeah. yeah, so you know, ever since then, like during the summer and stuff, like every day, ever since the movie day, we was hanging out every day, going to the beach, all that. He got my nails done and stuff. Like, we just hanging out, which is good vibes and stuff. Then he left me. And I was saying he had to go back to North Carolina school, and I was sad. I was <laughs> like, why he gotta leave me? You know. <laughs> <laughs> why he gotta leave me and stuff? I was just really sad. Like, so I was, at first, I didn't go to school where I stayed. Um, stay there. Like I didn't. I, I live. Do you tell me? Do you tell me? But we live in Virginia or whatever. So I went to school in North Carolina, and I played football down there. Had a scholarship down there, and I was transferring to Norfolk State anyway. So on um, the next semester, and so I had to leave her for about three months or whatever. And so when I came back, that's when we really, really started. That's when we, like we went out. Like, that's even though she was in North Carolina, we didn't date. We just kind of, like, stayed friends and, like, yeah, kind of talked a little going, bit. Going out like, with yeah, we just still communicated yeah. and mm -hmm. texted and FaceTime and stuff. Even yeah. though he was still doing his thing and I was doing my thing. Mm -hmm. But we still, you know, kept in contact until he got back. And, yeah. you know, he came back and what, November? Yeah, December? came back in November, yeah. Something the end like of November, about the beginning of December, yeah. And, you know, yeah. that's when we started hanging out again. Mm -hmm. You know, rebuilding what we had. And then, you know, time goes on. Yeah. February 1st. That's he asked me out in front of his house, y'all. 
Because I was just waiting. Like, at first, all, I don't want to rush into a relationship. And so, like, Dad just wants us to build our friendship up first. Mm -hmm. You know, just, you know, get a little feel of this. And then I was just like, you know, I'm ready to be a girl. Da, da, da. So I was kind of rushing him a little bit. She was rushing She needed extra water. She but the thing is, he couldn't do, he couldn't ask me out how he wanted to because, you know, he got in a car accident at the time. We you know. They, it's okay. Like, like he got in a car accident when he was on his way home from work. And so, you know, he lost his car. Like, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff happened. So he couldn't ask me out how he really wanted to. And I was just like, you know. That's it, you know, I just want you to ask me, you know? And I was rushing, I was like, just ask me, all right. And just like asked him. Yeah. Ask me out in my car. So we started officially going out February 1st. That's our first of 2018. So that's when we first officially started going out. So it's about to be a year coming up in 2019. And it felt like it's been about eight years now already because we lived with each other and stuff. We moved in in August, you know what I'm saying? And living with somebody makes it feel longer. But you know, I'm yeah. happy though. I'm happy with her because it's just we be having fun and stuff in the house. Even though she get on my nerves, you know what I'm saying? Always doing a little petty stuff, but that's my <laughs> about that. But yeah, like we was friends for a minute before we started dating and stuff. It was just so fun. Like we was just always laughing on Facetime, just having fun when we just go out anywhere. Yeah, so. It was just the best feeling in the world. Like, and did you tell him we met off of Instagram? Well, yeah, like we met yeah. off of Instagram. Because I told That's, him, you know, I've seen you off of Instagram. Yeah, so so she DM'd me. Let's get this clear. But the thing is, because you, I was, I was doing shout outs. I was doing shout outs. And he DM'd me, was like, oh, shout out. You know what I'm saying? People always DM me, asking for shout outs. She DM'd me first. Anywho. He used to always DM me, be Say, like, nah, oh, okay. shout out. But she DM me I first. She was like, oh, you're so cute, da da da. You should text me sometime. You know, I slid back and said, you know, I've been keeping an eye a little out of it, you know what I'm saying? I've been uh, mean enough to DM you, but, you know, I was waiting for you to DM me first. He don't, he think, he don't go up to the other side. Like, what's wrong going up to the like, I just think it's kind of thirsty for real, for real. But everybody got there on the pan. I was waiting for her. That's why I kept saying shout out for shout out, trying to get her attention. Is that so huge? Yeah. Who's already like, you know what I'm saying? Coming towards me first, grabbing saying towards me. And some shout outs and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But yeah, that's how we met. That is how we met. Oh, yeah. and y'all, y'all see, I got my hair red. This ain't cute, ain't it? No. Yes, this is, I did all by myself, y'all. She uh, She got help. No, I didn't. She I did it all by myself, y'all. What y'all think? Comment I below helped. what y'all think about my hair. DM me. Which, I hope her. Anywho, DM me. Let me know how y'all think about my hair and stuff like that. Right, you know, about come up to me. They don't want to see you. Hey, they want to see me. See about my braces. You know what I'm saying? I want to get my braces off. Never. Even <laughs> sorry, so, you know. but yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. We all we look a little bummish. I know I look a little bummish and stuff. Yeah, you know, my we, hair. We just went, I did. We came from the gym. No, no, well, we were running at the we're park. At the park yeah. So you know, I just threw my hair up. Got this little, but I'm about to get cute later on. Well, I ain't gonna really get cute. I'm gonna just you know get a little chill and stuff because I gotta get me an outfit for tomorrow for New Year's Eve. And yeah. So we yeah. thinking about making a vlog for tomorrow. I was about to say that. Uh, I mean, you can. You know, well, we, we think about doing a New Year's Eve vlog tomorrow. So showing y'all how we turn up and stuff and to do a countdown with y'all. Mm -hmm. So when it hits 2019. She said she's going to get drunk, drunk. We're going to see she's going to get drunk, drunk. I'm about to get lit, but I'm about to be looking drunk. cute. Drunk, we're going to do a count. Shut up. Let me stop. So we do a little countdown with y'all. Just show us how we, you know, about to have fun. Do some games with some of our friends and stuff like that. So it's about to be, you know, a fun little thing. So make sure y'all like and subscribe. Make sure y'all comment. Team Dre in the comments, too. You know what I'm saying? Team Let's. It's okay. Even though I only got one prank, I'm still about to come Dre back Mark. for some and more. And I, I might change Team Dre to Dre Mob. Let me know what y'all think about that. Because Team Dre, I think it's feel, it feel like it's too plain. And I feel like everybody's got a team. How about a mob? You know what I'm saying? Or something else. Think about what else should I say. And make sure y'all comment that in the comments. And make sure y'all please like and subscribe. Yes. See you later.